So sad. Bart kind of missed his flight today, and I have to sleep by myself. Well, not really by myself, because Liam is over there. Tony's over there. Brandon's over there. But still, he was supposed to be here, and he's not going to come here till tomorrow noon. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> Dang, look at that. Look at Brandon's hair. It makes him look so emo. <laughs> I said emo. I don't want to look emo. I want to look gangster triad. Well, on that one, it's draped over half of your face. Yeah, too long. What do I do with it? Dang, you have nice hair. It looks soft as hell. Jess said it's too healthy. I didn't damage my hair. <gasps> Because we miss each other so much, we're sending each other videos. So he told me he just got Jack in the Box. So I sent him this video. Do we have a fridge? You should. So I answered her question. I shot him with this on camera. And then he replied with this video. And then he under he understands. And then he replied with this video. Ah, so cute! Who's that? Who's that? Who's texting you? Just kidding. And then I replied with this one. He knows I love my candy. And then I sent him this one. Sorry, Family Guy's playing in the background. Alright, day two, and now we are, or I am, in the actual theater where Nadine is going to be weighing in for tomorrow's meet. Check it out. There it is. These are all the big boys. The girls already went, and then um, the first half of the lighter guys went. Nadim's part of the big boys. I think he's doing 220s. Nadim, you're doing 220s, right? 242. 242s, like. <laughs> yeah, he's the lightest guy here. Cause he goes up to what? Uh, 308 plus. 308? Plus. Oh my god. Savage. And then there's B Choi filming everything. He's documentarying. Documentarianing. Massagering. Fluffer. He went back in reverse. <laughs> How come you like massages so much? I mean, that's an obvious question, but for you. <laughs> I, must, I don't do any type of mobility, so this is like the slightest type to get me somewhat back to normal. Do you think it's a good idea to get massaged before you start lifting? Uh, this is super light. It's just to feel good. Ooh, you're not going to talk to you like that? He's calling you weak. Oh, the guy sorry. massaging me. Very strong, but oh. my muscles are so tight that nothing. Is he happens. handsome though? He's very handsome. Would you let him pee on you? Him though. No. Oh. He's too feminine. Oh, okay. Did you let my parents meet your parents before we talk? Yeah. He was like, hey, if you ever want to talk to a girl, uh, get your mom to DM her mom. <laughs> That's Afghan, smart. Afghan DMs. That's smart. I have plenty of time for me, bro. Hey, B Choi. How does it feel being be, uh, back here? Where's like a stage present? You can hear people like re racking weights and stuff. It makes me want to compete again. I know, right? Me too. Every time I come back to these areas, I always want to compete, especially if I see them like start competing. Yeah. Are you down to put on a singlet and just jump on stage? I don't want to lose. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. 
know, it's pretty intimidating because this is the world championship, so this is like the best of the best. So I'm pretty excited. I get to like film all of this. So it's gonna be pretty awesome to see the strongest people in the world live here. Uh, it's definitely different from what we did in Fit Expo where it's, I mean, don't cut it down. Don't, don't cut it amateurs. down. Right? We're, not amateurs, but We're just not the best of the best. Pretty excited to see big boys. Especially Steve. Finished breakfast and now back in our room. And uh, we, we took a nap. I'm still in bed. But good news is Bart's here. Du, 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 du. Guess who's here? <laughs> So what time did you get on the plane? I got on the plane at 11. Oh shit, that was a good flight. And it's what, one maybe? Yeah, I got here like 20 minutes ago. Nice, how does it feel to be reunited with the love of your life? Feels great, because yesterday I was all lonely at home. Well, that's not what you said off camera. Off camera, you were talking about bed. What did you say about the bed? <laughs> oh, the bed was hella comfortable by myself for sure. So then you didn't miss the love of your life. I missed you. It's just I don't have a fucking gargantuan woman next to me. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you already took up you already took up all the bed. Just one I don't know how we're gonna sleep on this bed. It's a twin size. This is a fool. I know. You're fat now. I know, I'm fucking fat <laughs> as shit. You know, I was uh, I was sitting there. You couldn't even get up. I was sitting there at the airport <laughs> and I was just like sitting there like reading a magazine and I was like I keep trying to make it disappear, like, <laughs> the other like, god damn, what the fuck is this? Oh, <laughs> oh well, I'll be gone. But you're strong as shit, that's all that matters. Yeah, that's as strong as I've ever been. I'm trying to reach some lifetime goals right now. You gotta hit that 405. You should get this big, which is ripped. That's hard. The goal, would you want to be this big? I would love to, but like, the natty life? Probably get there in like three years. Yeah, for sure, man. I do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the natty life. I probably, I probably have to get bigger than this. if I want to be this big but ripped. I probably have to get to like two fifty. Uh huh. And then cut down. And then cut down slowly. Two to two twenty. But then if uh, not natty life, I could probably get this in like six to eight months. All right, having some dinner now um, at Goyamon, which is the sushi spot that we always talk about, that we were introduced by, um, introduced to by David So, and we have a first climber here, well a lot of first climbers, B. Choi being one of them. What are you expecting? I'm expecting my birthday dinner sushi, my sushi bill type shit. Oh, bro. It's a buffet, keep that in mind. It's a buffet. How much was sushi, sushi so though? 200 person. Right. This is a buffet that's only like, what, 30 bucks a person? 40 bucks a person? But yeah. it's, for a buffet, it's amazing. Oh this buffet is already God, shitty God. stuff. It probably shits on, uh, that place in Alhambra. Yoshino's? Hell yeah. Yoshino's is disgusting. <laughs> Wait, have you been here? Better than Kula? Uh -huh. Oh yeah, way better than Kula. What are you expecting? Kula great or what? Kula great is not good, right? Kula great is good. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. Well, revolving sushi, I don't really like. Kula is pretty good, yeah, but I'm expecting because it's all like freshly cut. I expect it to be a lot better. How long have you been eating sushi for? For about a year now. How did that happen? Moving to LA. Hanging out with you Stop guys. Stop being a little bitch. Basically, yeah. <laughs> what did you, what was your version of sushi back in the day? I wouldn't eat sushi. I wouldn't eat raw fish. I wouldn't go married. I wouldn't. Not even rolls? Bun. No. Oh shit, what changed your mind? 
Uh, was the bar calling you a bitch all the time? Basically, I didn't want to be a little bitch anymore. No, 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 for real, I'm just kidding. No, yeah, basically I was like, fuck it, I'm here, I'll try new things. Uh, once I started eating, I really liked it. What other stuff did you not like that you started liking? Uh, so, the main things I don't like is cheese, guacamole, sour cream, eggs, and what else? That's it. Um, but now I eat cheese somewhat. Guacamole, uh, sour cream, still no, and uh, no egg. I can't even touch it. Wait, is it the egg yolk or just the egg? Is it for their egg, egg white? No, I've tried, I've tried both parts separately and together. Can't is it texture or is it flavor? Flavor. Oh. Like, it was literally coming in my mouth, and I'm trying to enjoy it. And even if I don't know what's in there, I'm going to just start gagging. Oh my god. I can't help it. You act like a little. You're doing a great job, honestly. <laughs> It seriously took me years. It took me to have a dream about sushi before I could eat sushi. So for you to do it like this, I think because my mom is, she's like, if she, like she found out I ate sushi. She's like, like she got disgusted by it. Yeah, she won't go near the raw fish. Oh shit! Yeah. All right, we gotta post for this picture that Sarah's taking. I like we're doing something. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he was taking a picture of us. Wait, 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 it's focusing. <laughs> so not staged. <laughs> you see guys, everything on the on social media is fake. No, no it's not. I mean, yeah it is, because like, uh, no, there's not. a picture of these girls laughing, right? And then uh, they took a screenshot from the video, and the guy posted the video that took the picture for the girls, and he was like, alright, laugh guys, and the girls like, <laughs> and they're laughing towards each other. Uh, they just took a screenshot of that. No, they're fake, not social media. Social media. Social media turns people bad. For likes. It smells fishy. Seafood. I'm totally the worst. I told myself I would show you guys what we're about to eat, but. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. We already started eating. Almost halfway done. Halfway done. Everyone already killed it. I'm the worst. I'm the worst vlogger ever. I know. Oh, thank you. But I did order hand rolls though. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, there's like literally nothing in there though. I mean, there's just salmon. That's it. Oh yeah, that's what the salmon roll is. No, they, sometimes they put other stuff in there, like avocado, really? cucumber. Really? Who are you? Did you say Riri? Riri? Yo, Nadine, that's racist. Freeze, freeze. Huh? Freeze. Oh, Nadine. Nadine. This is all from Ray from Sarasota. Yeah, he's Asian. Oh. Does he have your okay to make racist jokes? Yes. Oh, love it. Oh, it's like Chandler. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
first time learning how to play craps. And uh, Tony was on a, on a hot streak. He was killing so the game. all of us were coming up on money. And uh, the whole table was winning. People that didn't even know him was going across and patting him on the back. Yeah, giving him free money so they could keep his luck up and just keep the morale up. And then uh, we were all up, and then we had one bad play, but we all bounced and we, we all, pulled all up. We all pulled out. We had a strong pull-out game, as yeah. nasty as that sounds, that's the actual term. But pulling we did out. it all at the same time with teamwork. We pulled yeah. out together, and we're still up, and now we're going to get some yummy foods. Yep, so now we're walking the strip. Walking by Bellagio. So many pea pair. Here's Bellagio. This is where the where that water show happens every night. But what's crazy is that even though we're in Vegas, we're all still working. That's why Petroy has a camera and a monopod in his backpack. And I'm vlogging. There we go. That was pretty fucking terrifying. That is mobility. <laughs> that was terrifying as fuck. I never want to see that ever again. It was what? Exorcist shit. It was exorcist shit. <laughs> but my shit actually breaks. <laughs> He's levitating. That is so cool, I've never seen it in person. That is so cool. That's magic, guys. I know, I don't know. I, I do believe in magic, but I just, I just hate that people have to mess with that illusion of that magic really exists. I like pretending it does. You love magic. I love magic. I know, like, it's not uh, physically possible, like, as in physics, like, physically possible, but I like, I like, I enjoy being a kid again and just, like, enjoying how they're able to pull off these optical illusions, and I think it's really fun. Yeah, I, I love the mind fuckery, the mind fuckery of it all. Yeah. Because I'm just like, how do they do it? Um, David Blaine was one of my ultimate favorite ones because he would write shit down and then he'd like throw it against a, a glass window and then it's embedded within the window and I'm like, how do they do shit like that? It's amazing. Yeah, I like that stuff. I don't want to be with you. Where are we going? Old Planet Hollywood. Tripping. This is fun. I never walk this trip. And I think I think I don't like walking this trip just because I don't like drunk people. But right now it's like that hour, that family hour so because it's only seven o'clock. So it's still family time, kids are still out, everyone's not plastered, so it's like enjoyable. Ironically, the plaster time is like actually like midday. I think there's a lot of people that come here on vacation. And so because they're on here on vacation, they're like as soon as I wake up, I want to drink. So during like 2 p.m. noon, there's a bunch of plaster people already. Oh. But I think those guys are worn out. So now it's the family people coming out. And I think later on, once they recover, that the plaster people come out again. Oh. Have you noticed that? There's a ton of plaster people during like afternoon. Like in the early afternoon, everyone's drunk for some reason. I've never paid attention Even to that. Even the white people turn red. And I'm like, what the hell? That's an Asian thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I got to pay attention to that more. All right. Let's see what else is up ahead. Peacock. That's beautiful. This is awesome. Zach Galpinakis. You 
must be born again. We're all together. The whole crew. The whole crew back there. <laughs> How are you feeling, Nadim? Good. You were gambling pretty big. Yeah. And you came up pretty big. So I gave myself a limit of 500. I lost two hundred and thirty dollars yesterday, and I went a little over, so I pulled out three hundred today. So I was down five thirty, right? And I lost all of it to my last fifteen, playing super league. I was like, fuck it, all right, I'm gonna play smart. Immediately within ten minutes, I came up four hundred fifty bucks. Woo! What about now? Where are you at? Uh, I'm negative 80, but no. that was lost money, so I'm up for 450. <laughs> Damn, that's so beautiful. Happy. Good shit. I think sometimes when you win, the biggest is when you play oh. stupidly. No, no, I was playing like, stupid, stupidly. Oh, come on, Steve. God damn it. Where's your tattoo shot? I beat Troy to the kept telling me not to play like that, and I was like, alright. And I you just, still uh, did it? Yeah, I lost like $300, and then. So God up. damn it, Nadim. Now I know. Now you know that you're stupid. Now I'm smart. I learned. <laughs> you were stupid then, now you're dumb. Uh, it's, it's an improvement. Alright, I'm proud of you. Stop doing stupid shit. So mean. Nadim, you admitted it, you did stupid shit. I did. There you go. I'm just agreeing with you. Move your fucking stupid ass. <laughs> just kidding. I love Nadim. Nadim loves tough. Nadim loves tough love. Look at his face. He's just fucking with me. Look at, look at all that stuff. I knew it. <laughs> Everyone's raising a glass. Girls direct to you. Do you want to call it real? No. Just show up the floor. Oh, yeah. This is the part where everyone asks me if I want to see titties. Like, do you want to go to strip show? Titties! That's like their marketing pitch. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. I don't want it. I don't want the camera to be in this shot. Or in Brandon's shot. Alright, we are now inside of Planet Hollywood. And there's it's overwhelming how many stores are in here. a soapbox where I can shout it yeah. So you would be down to have a girl pee on you not in the shower?